We got ourselves team one together with Chevy. We got Ark on the team gamer. Crag are gonna be first up. And it's charging out versus Kiyokaze on the team. We got ourselves team two. We got my man Glush. Gonna be going last. Had himself a hell of a game for a couple of times. He's on another cleanup duty. If team one can somehow fight through the rest of team two. They're gonna be fighting the final boss of that team, which is Glush. The final phase of that team. Gonna be back to back horror effects on Cracker. Mad damage by Kia. Cracker could be in trouble. Does get hit with the silence. Trying not to go for any kind of healing or damage as the mind games is just gonna end up crippling him. Got himself a bit of a battle master trinket to give himself a little bit more of a bolster on health. A little bit more of health to work with. Big damage onto Kia. Does Kia just get to the pressure? Oh my god, fear onto Cracker. Does go for a trinket. Massive heal. I went to burn big defenses. Kia may have to go for defense of his own. Does get interrupted on Shadow. Great effect for a second. Looking for a heal. Can I get interrupted on a heal for a second? May have to go for a disperse though. There goes the disperse. As Scragger was able to catch back up all that healing. Just blood thirst in it back. Rip it out of these boys one after another. Reflect up in case Kyo goes in for any kind of damage. Instead goes for Shadow Crash. Which is going to attack him and interrupt it on Holy. But Shadow has access to all the healing. All the damage from Shadow. Storm Bolt on Kyo. Does get himself I believe a power word life. So he can go for emergency healing if he ever gets slow. Fear on to Kragger, but he can just Zerk a Rage out of it. Try to stay on top of Kyo. Is that going to be an execute Rage? Does interrupt him on the heal and does it swipe and about. Shadow Priest is going to have a hard time with Warriors, man. I feel like with the class, they can break out of your fears. It just becomes rough. Try to see if he can go for big bolts. Going to be Kragger with yet another Mind Games Horror Bolts right after. Got himself a bit of a reflect. It's also able to not only reflect the first spell at you, but for 5 seconds does have 20% damage reduction on magic abilities. Lao tried to see if he can approach him. Big damage with the Kragger though. Does get him super extremely low. Is going to be a by the Warrior. Looking to lock down Baba if he can at all. Massive damage. Avatar at the ready. Looks like maybe he might be able to get himself a big output and Kragger is getting himself big rampages Baba with a uh, embrace of darkness embrace of vampiric power is going to try to seek and vampirically steal a bit of health from Kragger the more single trigger damage you do the better does get super low there's going to be the ages rocket for him and that's also dispersed so Baba is kind of limited what he can do now it's down to getting aggressive getting for going for as much self-healing going for as much damage in order to get yourself recovery quick interrupt on the shadow is going to go for flashy heals Flash is the only thing that's keeping him alive right now, but in the execute range, stun on Chakragar, then he needs a mind games right now. Bolts, horror bolts, oh, does get swiped out and next get on those bolts with end cap god gonna be up next. Try to see if he can take down Kragger. Does the summer immediately? Kragger may need to go for a leap just to get away. And that's gonna be in cap god trying to chase after him. Kragar does have a trinket, does have everything available. Gonna be Lexu, maybe big damage, gonna be storm bolt. Does he himself a big setup for some in cap? It's gonna be maybe for fruit to stop him. Does get himself back to that night fairy fey lines, but Kragar got himself in rage. Generation just absolutely unstoppable for a time being. Fist of Fear lock him down for a second. In cap got every defensive rotating. Trying to see if he can escape Kragger as the charge comes out. Soothing miss around the corner. But Kragger needs to give him some more healing. Trying to turn around and bloodthirst over the Zuen. Every global he just can bloodthirst over and over and over and over. Storm bolt onto in cap. Could potentially trinket it. Gonna be disarmed onto Kragar. Kragar still holds on, to, holds on to trinket of his own. Trying to slow down in cap. Making sure he doesn't go anywhere. That's gonna be a quick charge to intercept him is trying to reposition potential trinket does go for a trinket big fear i think that might have been a bdb out of incap maybe in a bit of trouble in that execute range may need to go for port immediately does go for a port can cracker reconnect looking to get back to him does it get to oh my god the ports in cap still bleeding though somebody's got him really low storm bolt i think down for the count my god cracker oh my goodness coming back in the fear of warrior god is returning little by little chat just gotta give him not a rogue to fight against and he could really show up gonna be a quick reflect against huge buttman light and lasso to lock him down Kragger's limited on his defenses for a time being he's gonna knock back into a root immediately at least he's got a fire elemental he can bloodthirst off of needs to get his cc onto a huge buttman maybe in a bit of trouble trying to go for a big damage into a root right after stormbolt through the huge has a circuit for it knocking him back Jogger charging back in needs as much healing as humanly possible reflect up as he gets knocked back with a haymaker Oh, Urshak to follow. Does get himself a heal last second. What is this heal? Oh, rooted out though. He does get himself in Rage Regen. Oh my god, the lava burst comes in as he gets his Rage Regen back up off cooldown. I don't know if he got in Rage Regen that gives him a heal increase. If he would have pressed in Rage Regen immediately as the lava burst came in, he would have had the health in order to be able to deal with it. That's a rough one. But the warrior god does make an appearance again, like a proper appearance this time. When he does have to fight against the subtlety rogue, he can do really, really well. <laughs> Gonna be huge. Gonna hit with a spear. It has to go from one warrior into another, from the frying pan into the rest of the kitchen. Try to see if we can avoid gamer. 
With the Roots of Fallen, does it break it out of it somehow, though? Maybe it's damage over time. Huge Buttman may be in a bit of trouble. I think it's over. Ah, oh, Earth Shock in the end. What could you do? Galoosh is given the opportunity to at least go make sure he gets this full poisons. Gamer wants to give him a chance, but doesn't want to let him out of the arena. <laughs> Galoosh may just hang out at the start of the arena. That's going for the Shadow Strike. Gamer needs to do whatever he can to soften up Galoosh to give the rest of his team a chance. Galoosh, mad burst into Gamer, mad damage into Mr. right after, into immediate disarm to follow. My goodness, doesn't really give this boy much of a chance to recover. And Galoosh again trying to see if he can avoid him. Could have shot him to Gamer, just had to wait it out until the DRs and the stuns were done. Does he take him out with a cheap shot? Oh, that eviscerate does end up taking him down. My goodness. Getting a shot onto Yasha. As Galoosh goes in for Shadow Strikes Eviscerate, Yasha may just be dead. My goodness. If he didn't press the Shield of Vengeance there, I think it would have been over. Does get a blinder to Galoosh. Blind back on him. It's going to be me to trigger this Galoosh goes for a Shadow Step potential. No cloak. Trying to see if he can blast through defenses of Yasha. Does go for a lay in hands really early. That means it's forbearance. Maybe if Galoosh can get back in there and the kid the shot, lock him down. Because the man is not going to have an immunity for a while. He's in the lay on hands with the early kid shot. I think it might be over. Oh my god. He's in the lay on hands with the Retribution Paladin. They let you use an arena, but it's heavily, heavily reduced. Though, my god, it is. Oh, it just puts you in such a bad forbearance spot. Got him so the grippy hand. Gonna be a stun. He gets a trick it out into Glush. Double stun to follow with a blind right after. Maybe doing some freebie damage. It's gonna be a big breath with the silence of Glush. I don't even know if he can really stop him with that silence. Is that breath still going on? Wait, is he still breathing? He is still breathing. He just doesn't even look like he is. But he was still breathing, doing a bit of damage to Glitch for a while too. Shadow step by the rogue, trying to see if he can maybe cut him off. There's gonna be a howling blast onto the rogue. Definitely needs to put a chain of ice on him to control him better. That's gonna be howling blast, denying him the stealth. Next kid shot could be very, very deadly. Chevy does have a trinket for this one. He's gonna be able to break out of that pretty quickly. Glitch with a vanish immediately got himself a bit of a reheal, letting the heal do work at a 45% dampening, though that healing is heavily reduced. Chevy could potentially pick up another set of eyes and may want to. Just to deny the rogue any kind of restealth, any kind of re-CC. Chevy does not have a trinket anymore though. So it's going to put him very, very behind. Definitely needs to make sure he gets a proper go on the rogue before he gets a stun. But how do you lock down a class that's all about crowd control, man? You just got to play a little bit faster than they do. Going to be a kidney shot onto Arky. Knocking him back for just a second. This is going to be a big LU blast. Wall to fall. Disarm right after. Massive lightning bolt. Does it take him down? Wait, is Arhi going to be able to finally do it against Sonic Turner? But it doesn't catch him. Oh, he's trying to fish for the rogue. He's trying to throw the net, but he never gets him out in the open. Goose does have a flame check on him. Arhi needs to get in there before a kidney shot comes out. Next kidney is going to be deadly. You have to get a blaster onto the rogue before he gets anything for you. And the sap, I think, seals your fate. Shadow Strike, one opportunity. Does go for an ascendance. Does go for a knockback. Maybe that gives you a moment of opportunity. Oh, no. Galoosh just goes in. I told you he was going to be fine on that cleanup duty. My goodness, four kills back to back. Kragar does get to make a pretty big return. But man, somebody's got to find a way to fight the rogue, dude. Somebody's got to find a way to beat that guy.